Hey guys, what's up in this video? I will show you the Anno 4.3.1 Carbon ROM and this is pretty smooth and pretty awesome ROM actually. So as you can see from the performance it is pretty cool. I apologize that I was not making videos of ROMs for, for Galaxy S2 users who have subscribed me. Uh, but I will, uh, you know, uh, will upload a lot of videos about ROMs and stuff like that. So as you can see here, it's pretty cool. It is the Anno 4.3.1. Let me just show you here in the settings um, about phone. And here is the 4.3.1 Jello Bean. As you can clearly see here. Anno 4.3.1 Carbon ROM. We have the beans here, we can flip it over. So, what is, you know, kind of new in this ROM? Well, actually, the performance of this ROM is uh, better than the previous versions. And if you want, you know, uh, the developer option, you have to tap here the build number. Uh, I'm, also, uh, I'm already a developer here. I have developer options unlocked. So, um, in terms of the performance, it is pretty cool, and Galaxy S2 can handle 4.3.1 well uh, without any lags or hiccups or stuff like that. Everything is working, camera is working. First of all, I'm going to show you the primary thing that you want on your ROM, like camera and internet. As you can see, the camera is working, the gallery is working, you can edit your photos. You can edit your photos, you, have, you can crop them, you can have different kind of effects on your device, on your uh, pics and also the camera is working great we can switch to mm, video mode if we want and also we uh, we have here panorama mode uh, which is also pretty cool and also we have here we, we can externally pick pictures here we can have front facing camera flash uh, we have here different kind of options we have color effect white balance uh, white balance and also scene mode you can you know uh, change the scene mode if you want and also we have here further options here which is settings you can uh, transfer your photos to storage uh, save your photos to this uh, memory card here if you want you have true view you have jpeg quality you can have it on super fine uh, as you can see it is on super you get high medium or low if you want so it's pretty cool it's working great and also I have installed uh, MX Player. I will recommend you to install MX Player for your device running a custom ROM because it can do a lot more stuff than any other uh, customer out there. If you if you have if you want to use some blog websites, then you can uh, you know use this Hotspot Shield here. And also uTorrent is <coughs> sorry about that. uTorrent is working pretty great. Uh, I download movies from there. And also Apollo. Apollo is working great. Let me just show you here. And this is the Apollo here. We have all the songs. Song is playing and everything. And uh, also we have here the dialer is working great. Uh, we have the contacts. It's working also great. Uh, let me just show you here. Internet. Um, so it's a pretty good device actually because you have Android 4.2.1 and also 4.4 KitKat ROM is also available for this device. I will be making a video about that soon so be sure you subscribe me. Uh, so let me just show you here internet. Let's just load a website here. Salmon.pk Let's see uh, how it's uh, working here. It's not, you know, let me just right by here. On okay, now to type my password here. Let me just so it's done. I've typed my password, connect, and yeah, it has connected here on the bug. You can see. Let's just load the website again. As you can see, the website is working pretty cool. We can, you know, pinch to zoom. It's pretty, pretty, pretty popping. You know, it's pretty, 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 pretty popping. You have no kind of no signs of lag or stuff like that. You can easily use your device uh, with great access, no problem whatsoever. Pinch to zoom works pretty great, actually. We we'll have no problems. So browser is working great. Other than that, everything is working great. 
and let me just show you here in the settings uh, so this are these are the uh, main things here so first of all uh, there's an option here carbon fibers you can have you can change the animation of different kind of things here stuff like that you can check out and also we have here we can have the navigation on screen buttons if we want we can have our lock screen here you can do the lock screen <coughs> I've also enabled the uh, pie controls as you can see right now these are the pie controls um, <coughs> and also we have here performance you can overclock your device if you want and this is the I'm using the uh, Sia kernel see a Dormax kernel so I can overclock my device as you can see right now I have the CPU grinder here I can uh, have, overclock it up to 1.6 gigahertz if we want uh, but I recommend you to overclock it up to 1.4 gigahertz in this you will get uh, great battery life and also great performance and other than that this ROM is pretty cool we have themes option I have I'm using currently the system theme you can download some themes some from Play Store. This is the theme that I've downloaded. I'm gonna apply it. Uh, it's a pretty cool theme. Uh, Crystal 2. Let's see. So, as you can see, I have applied the theme. I have changed icons and stuff like that. You can see my clock. Uh, you can see the widgets on the top. Everything is kind of changed, and which is pretty cool. Which is the thing that I like about this ROM and all of those ROM. And the launcher here is the Tribuchet Launcher 1.0. This is more project. And of course, it's based on the CM 10.2, uh, but it's kind of better because it offers us a lot of, uh, you know, s features. And also, uh, we have dark carbon here. If you enable it, you will have some you know, kind of dark display, more dark display. And also, we have here Pi Control Power Menu. You can uh, edit uh, things here in the Power Menu. And also, we have the Halo. You can enable Halo in notification here. As you can see, we have here we just stop, swipe down to hide it, swipe up with different kind of functions if you want. I don't, I'm not personally a fan of Halo, but it is pretty cool uh, if you are a fan of Halo. You can also edit your status bar, and other than that, this ROM is pretty, pretty, pretty cool and it's pretty popping. I would recommend you as a daily driver if you want a 4.3.1 ROM then this ROM is pretty great for your Galaxy S2. You have your camera working, your processor is good um, working in this uh, situation because you can install uh, see a Dormax kernel uh, and you can you know like overclock your device to have good gaming if you want to play Asphalt 8 game on the Galaxy S2 then you might have to overclock your device to get good frame rate. As you can see here let me just show you this is the version of the Sia Dormax. I know it is not the latest, but it is working pretty good. So you can install this uh, uh, kernel here, Sia Dormax kernel. You can overclock your device. So, uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If this video helps you out, and if you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. And I will continue to make more videos for you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.